Good afternoon everybody, this is Nel Carrojo again and I received a newsletter from Dialux and it says that Dialux Evo 10 is now available for download. Look at this one. And they said that emergency lighting is now here and there's two more new options that we can do for Dialux Evo 10 and I'm so excited to try it now. Okay, so let's go and open it now. There you go. So the, the latest about this Dialux Evo 10 is all about the emergency lighting. So now we can do our emergency lighting in this Dialux Evo because before I created an emergency lighting design in Dialux Evo but it's just on my own way on how to do it like copying uh, the lighting, the emergency lighting from Dialux regular. And then there's another one here which is the layout so it mentions that we we can now have a compact layout for every page yes this is another disadvantage of dialogue Evo before because you you need to produce a lot of pages just to get all the information but now i want to see how it looks really how compact it is and then there's another one which is the light scene so i will try to put a rgb floodlight in one of my facade and let's see how I can play with this RGB luminaire. Or let's see how I can play with this uh, light scenes with RGB. Okay, so let's go now and download this amazing software. So just click this download Dialux Evo. And now it goes to this uh, page. And then it will... Okay, we need to click this one again. And then it will automatically download. Yes. So if your download does not start automatically, just click here. But right now, I think it will. it's starting to download now. Okay, so let's wait to download it. I think it's heavy. Okay, so it's downloaded now. And here's my thumbnail. So what I'm going to do is right click and then run as administrator. Okay, welcome to the last Evo 10 setup. I will just press OK. And then I'll say next. And then finish and then next and then i will agree of course and then next and then okay now it is installing okay i think it's done okay i will just say the installation is complete um thank you for choosing the Luxivo. allow drag and drop yes i will say finish and then let's see how it looks so i'm going to refresh my desktop now and then I will open this Dialux Evo 10. Where is it? Now, there you go. Okay, so excited. Let's see. All right, so this is the first view that you will see once you install the Dialux Evo. All right, and I will say Lighting Design Firm. Yes, I can send that. And let's see, I will try to open... Um, anyways, okay, let's just open this one. Okay, I think my PC said it's not responding. <laughs> okay, but let's see, because I think that file is too heavy. Okay, it says that the project has been updated and I think it's loading now. All right, okay. So this is Dialux Evo 10. And let's see the one mentioned about, um, let's go first with the documentation. I want to see how it looks. Okay, so I can see something right now that the, this is the plan view. And yeah, this is the summary page of the coffee shop. And let's see, something's loading is here. Okay, so this is the original uh, portrait uh, view of the paper. And if I go to configuring, okay, um, okay, I don't. I think there is a difference right now anyways okay i cannot see a little difference right now but let me check here and the option okay i'll go back now and i don't see any difference now for the uh for the paper or for the documentation let's just go to the light scene i want to see the rgb so i'll go to this light scene tab here and I will go and install one RGB luminaire first. 
yeah i'll go to the website first and get one rgb fitting okay okay i'm here now at the torn website and i'm going to get this contrast and i will choose an rgb fitting here there is rgbw so let's see how it looks okay so this is an rgbw fitting so i'm going to get this uh dialogs file so i'll go and click the transfer to dialogs and then save it in my desktop and then i will click it and it will go directly now to my there you go and then what i'm going to do is i will highlight maybe some trees so what i'm going to do is i will place it on the top of this roof so i'll place it here I'll say yes there you go and I'm going to the light scene so let me check the orientation first so I will rotate it or I will aim it first and here there you go and I'll go to the light scene and that luminaire doesn't have okay I will create an empty group yes and I will click this one and place it to my new group okay it doesn't have rgb here i will just open this one and unfortunately it doesn't have an rgb option okay it doesn't have rgb so i'll go and check from a uh, bega fitting okay so i'm here now at the bega and i will go for some floodlights and i We'll try to get some RGB fitting. How about this high performance floodlight? Okay, so I can see that there is RGBW here with white beam. So I'll try this one. It's only 190 watt. So let's go and try it. So let's go to the download and then dialogs. And let's see if it's there already now. See here, the bag is here now. So I'll go and place it here at the roof. Oh, look at that. <laughs> wow. And then I'll go to the light scene and see if it has option. I'll go and remove it from here and add it here. Okay. Or maybe I will create a new scene. An empty scene. Yep. And I will place this one as a new group. And I place it here. There you go. So let's see if I can create do that one in Thorn also. I will create a new group also. And click at the Thorn fittings and add, add it there. Okay. So the Thorn fitting, even if it says it's RGBW, it's not. Um, the RGBW function is not available in Dialogs. But here for Vega, it says yes. You can play with all those amazing reds green blue and white let's go and try it i will close this one i'll cancel it and i will try this rgbw let's go and turn off the red and the blue and the white ah look at that let's just aim it first i want to aim this one properly oh look at this so amazing can I turn off? I will I will remove this thorn fitting now. Because it's blocking my view. <laughs> okay, there you go. So let's play with the Bega. Look at that. It's so amazing. And let's try this one. How about the let's how about the blue one? Perfect. Look at that maybe your next question is is it the real blue well then it's because you need to adjust the lumen output of the blue if it's blue the lumen output will be less okay if it's red oh amazing <laughs> this is so cool and if i play with the blue and the red the purple will come out and if i want only the white one yes it's only white and if it's only, it's, if it's green and white, then it will become like that. 
and how about this yellow mm, i play with the green and the uh, red okay it's not so much yellow but that is so cool all right so i think the rgb for this dallas evo 10 is working properly and i'm so loving it really okay now let's proceed with the emergency